is one more reason why we're the Bay Area's number one news station. All news, all the time, right here on KCBS. KCBS News Time 818. We'll have Darren Peck's six day forecast coming up momentarily. But first, this check on traffic with Ted Ramey. And we are continuing to uh, have a very nice morning around the Bay Area right now. The one problem we're want monitoring to see if anything does pop up is going to be in San Leandro. Northbound 880 as you approach Davis Street is an accident. The first involved car is off to the side of the roadway, but there were reports of debris in the roadway with the other pass air passing by motorists driving that debris in the roadway uh, so we're watching to see if any delays do come uh, out of this but right now things are looking very very good so that is uh, the good news for the time being we don't see any other problems going on in the bay area right now so you shouldn't have much trouble getting to where you need to be but do be advised that there is going to be uh, outside lands happening in san francisco today so if you're heading into the city 101 280 the golden gate bridge the bay bridge they're all going to be more crowded than usual and obviously that means that the commute time is going to start uh, earlier than usual. The gates open at 11 today. Music starts at noon. It goes until 10 o'clock this evening. So that's something to keep in mind as you plan your Sunday. Your next update, 828 on the Traffic Leader, KCBS. And let's see how the weather is going to be for the Outside Lands Festival as well as uh, the rest of the Bay Area. Here's Darren Peck. Sunday is going to play out just like Saturday did, which means for most of us it's going to be warm. Wonderfully cool for this time of year and more sunshine than anything else. Daytime highs for our warmest inland locations are only low to mid 80s. Uh, it's only going to like 78 in San Jose today. Santa Rosa will be right around 80. Tri Valley will be low 80s. Concord will be doing the same thing up and down 6 and 680 and 580, pretty much right in that same line, low 80s. Uh, and along the Bay Shoreline, it ranges low 70s near the Golden Gate to upper 70s the farther south you go. City doesn't get out of the 60s all day. So, it's great for if you're coming into the city for anything like outside lands or Stern Grove. Uh, the, we're going to have sunshine at those events, and they can easily be out this time of year. In terms of the next six days, we do cool down a little bit uh, for the sun. A little warm up heading our way for the middle of next week. By Wednesday, uh, we'll be back up to 90 for many of those warmest spots. It was just pretty much average for this time of year. You shouldn't along the Bay Shore Line. I'm meteorologist Aaron Peck with your KCBS KPIX 5 First Alert Forecast. Traffic and weather together on the 8s on All News 1069 and AM 740 KCBS. KCBS News Time 820. Elon Musk may be in trouble with California regulators and the way he's marketed his Teslas as being fully autonomous. KCBS's Alice Wirtz has the story. The DMV filed complaints with the California Office of Administrative Hearings accusing the automaker of making statements not based on facts. Carl Brower of iccars.com says it's a consumer affairs issue, using phrases like fully autonomous and self-driving. Well, self-driving does not exist yet, and we are not 100% sure when it will exist. If you just said that much, that might satisfy California. Tesla leader Elon Musk has promised his full-service driving feature will be available next year, but he's been saying that for a while now. If this was like six months, from when you first started saying this to when we could do it, that'd be one thing. We're talking like three or four years, depending on when you want to, you know, look at when you first said this was coming. California DMV warns Tesla it's misleading advertising and marketing of the autopilot and full self-driving technologies. Brower says it can't be sold to consumers with a feature that doesn't exist. I think that's why the state of California has finally decided to go after him in terms of the name and what he's been promising. Alice Wirtz, KCBS. The high-speed have grabbed attention over the past few days have also cast new attention on the overall problem of a big spike in reckless driving in California. The number of street races and sideshows of drivers performing dangerous stunts has quadrupled in the state since 2014 with an especially big jump during the early days of the pandemic when there were a lot fewer cars on the road. There's now a special statewide task force focused on cracking down on street racing and lawmakers are also looking at possible new laws to help fight reckless driving. Toxic algae in California's Clear Lake is containing drinking water for those who rely on the lake. It's also causing terrible smells. KCBS reporter David Welch explains. Noxious blue-green algae prompted county officials to issue warnings against drinking the water coming from Clear Lake. It's something that's become a yearly summer problem. Clear Lake has always had trace amounts of toxic algae present, 
But over the past two decades, environmental expert Sarah Ryan points out that the algae has started blooming. Of it in one area, whether it's sitting on the top or, you know, poorly in the water column. Those blooms are not only raising alarms about the drinking water, they're also producing a smell that's making people queasy. It smells like raw sewage and ammonia and enough to make you nauseous. Mother Nature has a way of keeping these blooms at bay. However, officials say runoff from fertilizers and storm drains are out-competing with those natural safeguards. What's been identified as the fix is to control the food sources that go into those water bodies. David Welch, KCBS. Well, people who do it say it's among the most rewarding ways to volunteer at the Marine Mammal Center. Here's KCBS. Hey, you want to sign up to do something good? The Marine Mammal Center is urgently looking to fill education and response volunteer roles in San Mateo and Sonoma County specifically. John Carlo Rulli has been volunteering at the Sausalito Center for 18 years. We often will say we come for animals, but we stay for the people, and that really rings true for me from my personal experience. Yeah, it's feeding time at the Marine Mammal Center. You can join the team that rescues sick or injured marine animals. Our response volunteers are critical to assess marine mammals, whether they're sick or injured, out on the beaches. They assist in those rescues. Back to our Sausalito Hospital. And then they also provide community outreach in the field during those responses. Yeah, they're taking volunteer applications at marinemammalcenter.org. No experience necessary. Jim Taylor, KCBS. Inflation is jolting the dating game. You know, daters say that they're feeling the pain in their romantic relationships. Daters are experiencing sticker shock with the cost of dining out, alcohol, and recreational activities on the rise. Paulina Cochero wrote the story for Bloomberg News. On dating site OkCupid, 34% of 70,000 users reported that inflation was impacting their love life. As costs bloom, that is changing the way singles are dating. Instead of whining and dining someone at a fancy restaurant, people are going to museums, they're taking scenic walks, and even, you know, making home-cooked meals. On the at 41% said they were more concerned with the cost of dates now versus a year ago. So both love and money are top of mind for singles in the U.S., and it's changing the dating game, really. And as costs rise, so are tensions over who should pay the bill on a first date. Bloomberg Business for KCBS. You've found the house of your dreams, but your personal banker is telling you he cannot offer a loan until your current home is sold. The real estate market is highly competitive, and you don't want to lose the opportunity. What now? This scenario is all too familiar, especially in today's fast-moving real estate market. No worries. I've got great news. I'm Mark Hoff, CEO of Pacific Private Money. As a private lender, we were able to offer loans up to 100% of the purchase price on that dream home with fast, easy, and affordable financing, allowing you to compete on the same level as cash buyers. Pacific Private Money allows you the flexibility to move on your terms, not your bankers. Give us a call and let us show you how Pacific Private Money can make buying your next home easier than you ever thought possible. 415-926-4444 or find us online at pacificprivatemoney.com. summer's in full swing. Are you making the most of backyard barbecues, pool parties, and s'mores by the fire pit? Or have you spent another season staring at the same crumbling patio or cracked driveway? You deserve better. The outdoor remodeling experts at System Pavers can help. Get the outdoor space you've always wanted. And for a limited time, System Pavers will demolish and remove your old hardscape for free. This unbeatable offer can save you hundreds or even thousands. Start by calling 800-PAVE-004 or visit System Pavers Com. Plus, enjoy special financing to get the ball rolling today. With 30 years of experience and more than 75,000 projects completed, System Paper is more than just beautiful outdoor remodels. You get peace of mind knowing the job's done right. Call System Pavers at 800-PAVE-004 today. That's 800-PAVE-004. Or visit SystemPavers.com right now. All orders must be placed by August 31st. Financing subject to credit approval. See website for full offer and demolition savings details. Contractors license 661575. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Improve your vehicle's gas mileage and power with Royal Purple Fuel Injector Cleaner at O'Reilly Auto Parts. And right now, buy one six-ounce bottle and get one free. Plus, earn double O rewards points with your purchase. 
for gas and boost performance with Royal Purple Fuel Injector Cleaner at O'Reilly Auto Parts or O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. I always wanted to learn Spanish, but I never thought I'd have the time. Then I discovered Babbel. Babbel's lessons are fun. They only take like 10 or 15 minutes, and in three weeks, presto, you're speaking another language, like magic. I love that Babbel's lessons aren't just robots talking. They're voiced by native speakers, so you get the pronunciation just right. If you want to learn a language, there's no faster, easier, better way than Babbel. 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 Go to Babbel.com to try for free. where we're looking at a new accident that is down 80 east of coming skyway multiple vehicles involved but injuries are reported right now we have a tow truck as well as an ambulance responding to the scene chp is just arriving in terms of slowing not seeing any yet they haven't had to block the lane but sometimes if there are injuries they will end up blocking lane so we will continue to keep that uh, monitored but things are looking very good right now you are not going to find much out there that does slow you down Get traffic 24-7 on our Twitter feed at KCBS AM FM Traffic from Weather forecast, uh, clouds out there, especially at the coast, but we're seeing it in different parts of the Bay Area. That should burn off later on today, making way sunny skies with highs in the upper 60s to mid-70s by the Bay. Uh, mid 70s to low 80s inland this evening mostly clear some patchy clouds rolling in at the coast lows in the 50s and low 60s for tomorrow mostly cloudy for the coastal regions but otherwise sunny all day high 70s and low 80s traffic and weather together on the 8s on all news 106.9 at am 740 kcbs i used to get frequent heartburn at night so i made pilosec otc part of my morning routine with just one pill, Prilosec OTC prevents excess acid production, blocking heartburn all day and night. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC, use is directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. So yes, there was after project refused to dry. But once everything was finished, you realize the smooth white and terracotta make this piece of history beautiful. Starter Pro Painters has good news. Your home paint project to come with the frustration and panic of your child's fourth grade project. Skip the stress and still end with the look you love. To get your painting project started, go to CertaPro.com. That's Certa with a C. Each CertaPro painter's business is independently owned and operated. License information available at CertaPro.com. For a smarter start to your day, start with us. Cast is, we're going to start a warm-up today. Tell your smart speaker to play KCBS radio. You may notice it a bit out there this morning. It's not terribly warm in terms of comparing it to yesterday. Technically, it is warmer. Stream KCBS for news, traffic, weather, business, and more. Speaker to play KCBS radio. News that matters to you. Around the bay, around the world, around the clock. All News 106.9 and AM 740 KCBS. Sunday, August 7th, some stories we're following for you. Votorama on Capitol Hill. Senators worked through the night voting on the health and climate bill. Pope Francis today welcomed the resumption of grain exports from Ukraine as a sign of hope. And firefighters, 17 firefighters missing in a fire at a Cuban oil facility. I'm... Uh, Eric Thomas, KCBS News Time is now 8.31. Here's KCBS In-Depth. You're listening to KCBS In-Depth. Really, in order to find quality care, you often have to be on a wait list that's months long. The people, places, and issues the Bay Area is talking about. The aggressive advocate road for so long they really had no idea of the consequences they might be opening up in this case there very well may be charges that are appropriate for example trying to instruct an official proceeding of congress right that is unlawful this is kcbs depth confirmed cases of monkeypox in the u.s number in the thousands and they're doubling just about every week now, after months of mounting pressure to take more aggressive action, the federal government has an emergency. But advocates say this move should Welcome to KCBS In-Depth, broadcasting streaming. 
on the Odyssey app. I'm Keith Benconi. Today on the program, we're going to check in with some of those on the front lines of this growing health crisis to hear why they've been so critical of the response so far. This is a prime example of how the lack of action in a swift and thoughtful way will harm a community for decades. First up, though, we're going to hear from KCBS reporter Kathy Novak, who has been leading our coverage of the monkeypox outbreak and how it's spreading here in the Bay Area. She joins us now to tell us about what she's found so far. Welcome back to the program, Kathy. Thanks, Keith. I think it's fair to say that many of us, myself included, have really just been waking up to the severity of monkeypox over the past days or weeks. Uh, and what's really driven it home to me is these accounts that we've been hearing, these just harrowing accounts of people that are in terrible pain as a result of this uh, of this virus. And you know, we should mention that very few from monkeypox that's exceedingly rare, but as your reporting has illustrated, this is definitely not something that you want to get. Right, and you know, the symptoms are not something that people would ordinarily maybe share, particularly on the radio, but it's precisely because of what you're talking about, that it was very abstract for people, uh, that the San, Fro Fran San Francisco resident I spoke to, David Norman, was finally comfortable sharing was that the symptoms began slowly. At first, he felt just a little off. I kind of had a fever and some chills on Friday, like when I went to bed, and I emailed my doctor. And then it wasn't until really Monday, though, that I woke up and actually had some full bumps. After that, his symptoms quickly worsened, and they became debilitating at times. I physically haven't been able to work most of the week. I had to cancel most of my calls. I can't. I can't sit, I can barely walk. And that is because he does have bumps on his hands and his face, but the most painful ones are on his backside. Everything is just so sensitive and sore down there, and every time I go to the bathroom, it's excruciating, and I find I, I, I call and scream, and it's really bad. And on top of that excruciating pain, he has also been really frustrated because the vaccines have been so hard to get, and he had a really hard time finding medication. My primary care doctor has not been super helpful. I don't think a lot of the information online is super helpful from the CDC or different government websites. Everything helpful for me has been crowdsourced through Instagram. And from that crowdsourcing, he finally found out that he should go to San Francisco City Clinic to get treatment, so he did, even though five days after his test, he was still waiting for the official results. So all of this taken together, he says, the response to monkeypox that he has seen has been very disappointing. It just, it just, when we just were still living through COVID, it feels like we've learned like absolutely nothing. It just sounds absolutely terrible. His concerns about the pace of this response are, of course, shared by many activists, medical experts, uh, politicians that we've been hearing from in recent days. But we did get two major announcements this past week that at least should pave the way for faster action. Uh, Kathy, what can you tell us about that? Right, so declare a public health emergency locally. Then on Monday, California as a state followed suit. And then on Thursday, federal health officials declared an emergency on a national all this is hoped that it will speed up access to vaccines and treatment. As we've been discussing, there are not enough vaccines to go around because of that. California health officials had already made the decision to prioritize getting the first dose of vaccine out to as many people as possible and delay the administration of the second shot, which is usually given first. On the treatment side, there is a drug called Tecoviromat, more commonly known as T-Pox. We heard from David there, who finally got it from City Clinic because his doctor couldn't prescribe it. The treatment is not FDA approved to treat monkeypox, so it takes a lot of paperwork in order to prescribe it. Uh, and bad cases. Uh, so the feds have been asked about this now that they've declared this public health emergency. They say they're planning a clinical trial that will hopefully lead to full approval. And I think the hope is all of these declarations will just speed everything up. All right. Thanks, Kathy. I think that that uh, gives a good foundation for this conversation. And uh, Kathy is actually going to stick with us throughout the rest of the program to provide some of that uh, insight from her reporting as we go.
but now we're going to dig a little bit deeper into exactly what has been making this emergency so difficult to contend with.